What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Twenty Dollar Chef. I got another special guest. I got my man Sam Morello on the show. What's up, buddy? Thanks for coming on. We should do this instead because of the coronavirus. Oh, yeah. They actually they they said you should not. I mean, it's already the oh, damage is done. That's already. why you want. Here's some soap. There you go. And this, that's why you always have your own this towel. Dish, in the this kitchen. is dish soap, but I think it works. The blue dish soap. It's like that shit is almost new. That's the best possible shit to wash your hands with. Anyways, fresh off your special on YouTube, you did it all yourself. You said fuck everybody. I'm gonna shoot my own special. I got this, and it's at a million views right now. Unless technically. Technically, everyone said fuck me, and yeah, then yeah. I responded with fuck everybody. Technically, you know, I I, I showcased it for a, a lot of buyers out there and networks. And then when I shot it, Comedy Central heard it was pretty good, and they said, well, we could we could release this on our YouTube channel, and we cut a deal with them, and they've been they've been great at promoting it. So it's been yeah, you know, it, it was it was a do it yourself thing that looks like it's paying off. We'll see. I'm I'm very pessimistic. Hey, a million views is not, especially in the small amount of time that it's been up. That's a legitimate. I mean, that is amazing. That must feel really good inside. My mindset. It was I think it's good, so I think if I put it out, people are gonna share it. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna be shameless. I'm gonna be annoying. Yeah. I'm gonna go on fucking weird cooking shows. Yep. But uh, I'm gonna promote it everywhere, and, and I think the plan was if enough people see it, they'll keep sharing it, and that'll snowball, and and the views will go up. That was my plan. So after watching your special, I was like, you know, you always end up in like a weird conversation or like some kind of situation that was just a little bit different, and that's one of the I enjoyed was how you would handle the situation in the bit. So today I figured I I thought of a situation where a lot of times. You mentioned a couple one night stands, but you got consent, so you didn't even actually follow through with it. You just got consent, so you went home. No, I like consent. Consent is, consent is the shit. <laughs> consent, that's the best part, the consent. Sometimes I get the consent, and then I just, I go home and I jack off instead. <laughs> get a good eight hours of sleep. And my friends asked, did you get laid last night? And I say, no, but I got the consent. So, <laughs> pretty cool. So I figured, you know what, maybe maybe at, point, at some point, someone's gonna be on a one night stand. They're gonna wake up maybe to a note uh, from the girl that says, hey, uh, you were really awesome. Listen, I'm in a tight bind here. Uh, you said you didn't have shit to do all afternoon. Uh, can, do you mind just hanging out with my kids for a couple hours while I go to, I have this job interview. If I miss it, I'm fucked. Yeah. And maybe a lot of guys would run off, but a lot of guys are nice and they're just gonna say, well, all right, I got nothing to do. I'll babysit for a few hours. Fuck it, I'm here, right? Yeah. You're gonna have to feed these little dudes, you know? Little, I'm, gonna, little... I'm gonna play into your game a little more and say, what terrible mother after a one night stand with me is like, hey, stay with my kid. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's the thing. People don't always make the greatest decisions. That's a good point. And if, they, and if you happen to be caught up right Right in the middle of that shit, you want to have a good recipe for kids. We're gonna go with Big Mac tacos because that's like a kiddie style, you know, menu. If uh, a lot of kids love McDonald's, you know. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cheeseburger taco, and but we're gonna throw on top a little Big Mac sauce, and that's what really mm. ties it together. I mean, the only thing that really separates the Big Mac is the sauce and that extra bread, which can go fuck itself. We don't need that extra bread. We don't need that extra bread. We're already being bad with yeah. the Big Mac. We don't want to. We don't want to poison this kid. Oh. I got fat as a kid because of the McDonald's Monopoly game. Yeah, because I. I kept thinking I was gonna get Boardwalk. I got like three park places. I'm like, where the fuck is Boardwalk? It's a fucking scam. That's yeah. why. I got fat because of you motherfuckers. Yeah. Because I got I was part of your goddamn Ponzi scheme. That's what happened. All right, so let's get started. First, we'll make the sauce. All this takes here is a little bit of mayo. So we need a half a cup. How, how often you cook it at home, Sam? I don't cook at home a ton, man. I'm, I'm more of a uh, I'm more of a road guy, you know. Yeah, you know, I think I've I've also started cooking the, the older I've gotten. I also more like I have I have a girlfriend, so I'll cook with her. Like that's yeah. That's, that's it's like, a, it's like a nice bonding activity. Mm -hmm. You cook together. Uh, grab the relish. Oh, I love some relish. Man. Yeah, that's this is the key to the Big Mac sauce. Relish is relish is such an underrated ingredient. All right, let's go uh, throw some mustard in here. A tablespoon and a half. Yeah. And then a little bit of barbecue sauce. You can pour some of that in there. That good. Keep going a little more. All right, that should be good. All right, get that apple cider vinegar over there. This is to fight off the coronavirus. A little paprika Ooh, in there. That looks pretty, man. A little bit of uh, this onion, this garlic powder. This is just like in the back of a McDonald's. Yeah, it's basically what's. We're gonna get coming here and get checked up on my Ronald. This is nice, man. Let's see how this tastes. I feel like the Big Mac sauce has more of a pink color, yeah. which I'm not sure when the hell that comes from, but that's probably the secret recipe. Oh, you know what that sure. comes from? People in the back making stains. All right. That definitely don't taste like no motherfucking Big Mac sauce. It's no good. Let me try. Get in there and wash your sauce. I don't know what the hell they're doing at McDonald's, but. They're doing it better than we are. I think that's really good. As someone who was taken advantage of by the McDonald's Monopoly game, I can tell you that this is pretty good. All right, fuck it, then we'll yeah. hold it. You know what I think though, is that this, the kids might be a little smart ass. That doesn't taste like McDonald's. Look bro, you should be happy that I'm staying here to hang out. Yeah your mom dude, fuck job. you, you orphan bastard. <laughs> your mom's irresponsible as shit. First of all, there's a strong chance she doesn't remember my name. She's got me babysitting you, my man. Yeah dude, I could be a fucking child molester for all she knows. Yeah. I'm not, because I had sex with her, but I'm just saying I could be. 
be. Okay, let's get the ground beef going here. All right. A little salt and pepper. Yeah, dude. Let's get it going. Go heavy on that pepper. All right. Love it. I'll mix that up. I got the pan heating up over here. I got some lean ground beef here. These, you know, trying to keep these kids cholesterol low or whatever it would be. So after, I never had a special, so I don't know protocol after a special. Do I'm, you uh, ditch material I'm or? Yeah, I ditched it, yeah. So you're rolling a whole Done. new 45? I'm, I'm touring with that right now, yeah. I got a new, I got a new 45. It's, there's some ups and downs. But yeah. It'll get there. Cause you know, well, obviously you probably have some staples that are in there, but there's like a section in the middle where you're working out shit. So I have, you throw I have in. a closer I like. Obviously it could be honed more and more, but uh, I've got like a good opening I like. And yeah, in the middle there's a little more metal. Because I want to hit, like, there are some themes that I hit la in this last hour that are a little heavier, so I want to, like, kind of revisit some things like that. Not the same ones, but, you know, I talked a lot about, a decent amount about, you know, guns and the Second Amendment. So I was like, you know what, I want to start talking about the First Amendment. So I started talking about other stuff. Yeah. The point is, whether you're left or right, you're going to find it funny. That's kind of, mm -hmm. the point is bringing people in. Mm -hmm. Well, like, you know, this is obviously, um, uh, later, in the, later in the set, you have a couple of rape jokes. You accidentally dropped drank a roofy drink and you ended up having negative one rapes. Here's what happened, I was at a party and this guy handed a girl a drink and she said, I'm too drunk and I said, I'll drink it. And he gave me this hateful look and I thought, why is this guy so mad at me? And then I chugged it and I woke up the next morning and I was like, oh, that guy's a sexual predator. And my friend said, you ruined his night. And I was like, that's not how I want to think about it, you know? And uh, the point of the joke is like, yeah, I have negative one race. I saved the day by accident, you know what I mean? So, you know, I can't take all the credit. It's kind of like if I was driving drunk and I swerved a car and accidentally hit a mugger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or, well, really, if some woman would be like, you're my hero. And I'm like, no, I just have a drinking problem. Yeah. What it is. All right, we gotta drain out this oil now. All right, we wanna get all that shit out of there. We're gonna be poisoning these kids with all the oil. All right, back in we go. All right, now we're just gonna hammer away the cheese. Damn. And then we'll start cutting up some vegetables while that melts down. What's your cutting skills looking like? Oh, not good, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. All right, here you go. Let's see. I'll cut the tomato, you cut the lettuce. This is where you gotta be a good pretend mm. dad for a little while. Hell yeah, dude. Could I'm you... fucking, I'm a great pretend dad. I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm awesome. A pretend dad is basically an uncle. Yeah. Which is why I'm fucking crushing it. I'm sure I'm cutting these tomatoes for nothing because I think like 2% of kids like tomatoes. Here we go, good ass cheeseburger meat here. All right, let's get the tortillas and the plates ready. I'm going with the jail plate here. Oh, you want me for the lettuce? No, that'll be for the kids. Oh, cool. That's how we're serving it up. Yeah, we say, I'll hand us to the kids and say, I'm your dad now. <laughs> I don't know where your real dad is, but he's not me. Never made you a good ass meal like this. Your mom's made all kinds of bad decisions. Your dad, me. Well, What's your not. mom even doing? <laughs> she just left you at home with me. You can let the little kids with the tortillas if you want. Get their fingers good and ready, you know? It's gonna be a tough world anyways. All right, let's go. I think these are ready to go. That's where we get cracking, dude. Here we go. A little cheeseburger taco. Boom. All right, throw some lettuce and tomato on there. Their mom is lucky that she did all kinds of crazy shit last night and made me want to stick around for seconds, <laughs> just like you kids get. <laughs> we got our Big Mac sauce over here, coming in hot, right on Dump top. Dump a hot load. Look at that. Look at that. You know what, it does smell more Big Mac-y now. Maybe we needed some time to hang out by itself, let, let the ingredients work Look together. at that, that looks beautiful. And that's it, I mean, it's that easy. Now you got a meal for the kids in your back pocket. That's good. And even, hey, listen, and even if you, you don't have one night stands and you're just a good family man, and you, but you don't cook too often, this is for you. Hey, make sure you go check out his new special on YouTube right now. Go, go watch and find out why a million people have already watched it in the first couple of weeks. I got this, Sam Moreau. Also, you know, if you're just a parent, you can make this. It doesn't have to yeah. be like a weird one night stand, mm -hmm. creepy dude situation. You can make this for anyone. That's this episode of 20 Hour Chef. See you guys next time. Dude, relish, extra relish and barbecue, that's a move. Yeah, it's the relish and barbecue that's the most important part in there. <laughs>